Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on tumblers, but sometimes I do something different like pens or bed reels, clipboard, mason jars. So when you're done watching this video, go ahead and jump back on and check out some of the other fun things I've done. So in this week's video, I am going to be working on coffee mugs, two different size coffee mugs. Uh, one is taller than the other. So I will be, I am going to be working with alcohol inks and uh, creating like this sort of a uh, watercolor texture or technique or whatever. So sort of watercolor. I'm gonna be showing you how to work around a handle and the differences with gold leaf as opposed to gold leaf pen or gold leaf foil to gold leaf pen. So if you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <music> So I'm working with a 14 ounce, I guess you would consider it a coffee cup. I've got this at Michael's Arts and Crafts and this was something I picked up during my haul the last time I was there and I did a video on that. And so this is what I decided to do with this. So I'm gonna put alcohol inks on this and then do some gold foil. So to prep this, the only thing I did was have to take the label off the bottom and I wiped it down with 91% alcohol to make sure it was nice and clean. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the store shelves. So I am using two alcohol inks. One is Ranger Tim Holtz Wild Plum and the other is a, a blue called forget me not that came out of a pack that i purchased on amazon and so i'm going to use these full strength and i am just going to i put them in this little tray with 91 percent alcohol in a little like in another one of the wells uh, to kind of clean the brush in between i later go get a cup of 91 percent alcohol to clean the brush off but uh, I'm using just this one brush and I'm dabbing the blue on. I'm just going to call it blue even though it's forget me not and just <laughs> for non-technical purposes. And I'm just going to blot it all around this cup. It was nice that this cup was white and I didn't have to do anything to it. Um, I, you know, I just, I'm getting so tired of spray painting. So <laughs> I, I was really enjoying the fact that I didn't have to sand and prep and paint this cup like I do with all of my other stainless steel cups. So I might be purchasing more uh, prepped cups in the future just for ease and, um, and time saving. In any case, so there's no rhyme or reason. There's no actual technique to this. I am just dabbing these on. Now beware uh, because alcohol inks are runny. So you should make sure that you don't put too much on the brush because it can take off on you. And you're gonna see later on in the video where I'm working on another cup and uh, it does take off on me. So, uh, but for right now, I'm just going in, I'm filling in all the spaces with this pink color, this pinkish, they call it plum. It looks kind of pink to me. And I am going outside of the lines and just kind of coloring outside the lines now with another I'm, I'm using a different brush for this wild plum pink color so i'm going to finish applying this alcohol ink off camera because it does take a little bit while in an effort to keep this video from being too long i'm gonna i think you guys got the idea you're just gonna dab all around and fill in those white spaces so now that I got all the alcohol inks on the cups, I'm gonna start blending. So I am, I dipped my brush in the 91% alcohol and now I'm just going around the bottom. Now that silver spot right smack in the middle is not really gonna get covered, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna fuss over it. But you can see by blending these colors, it kinda, it turns them purple. So this pink and blue together turn into purple. And that's why I'm only using two colors because with the blending i'm getting a third color basically as a bonus for free so this is just the process of blending out and i you know it's hard i can't really explain it's more of a visual thing i know it makes this video longer guys and i'm really sorry about that but i want you to see how you know how this evolves because it is a process and it is it involves layering and using lots of, um, you know, 91% diluted alcohol to just blend these colors out and get, you know, the look that you want. So you don't have to necessarily go for the look that I'm going for, but it's really more to show you how the alcohol ink behaves when you're diluting it, when you're using it full strength, when you're blending it and uh, how you're dipping your brush 
and pouncing around the cup, not smearing. So it's all a pouncing action. It's there. There's no, you know, no smearing of it going on like when you use a chip brush to get that wood grain effect. So it's just basically, you know, pouncing and blending those two colors and going over each other and diluting it with more alcohol. So I'm just going to play some music while you guys just watch the process. All right, so now I think I finally decided that I am good with it and I'm gonna wipe that rim clean just using 91% alcohol. Just be careful when you do this. I took a little tiny bit up at the top off, so now I'm gonna have to come in and do some touch-ups. So just beware of that when you're cleaning up that rim. In retrospect, maybe I should have just epoxied it and then cleaned the rim and then I wouldn't have worried about that. So learn from my mistake. Either be more careful or just do your epoxy and then clean your rim up. So here I am now fixing that. And since I did that to the top, I wanted to kind of match the bottom. So I went down at the bottom. It's, you know, crafting is crazy. What can I say? So now I'm going to, I'm ready to move on to the handle. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the handle that I did with the rest of the cup.
All right, so I didn't let this dry very long and I should have let it dry longer and I didn't seal it either and I can't, I'm coming in with my Aileen's Tacket over and over and so as I'm brushing the Aileen's Tacket over and over, it is kind of taking the alcohol ink off just a little bit. So I think that if probably if you wait longer than an hour, I was being impatient and trying to get this video done that you probably wouldn't have it but it doesn't really matter because you're covering it with foil anyway so as long as you don't do it in a place that you don't want you shouldn't have any issues but you might see in a little bit you'll see a little bit of color on the aliens tack it over and over and that is the alcohol ink uh, but I'm just going random around the cup and I'm just kind of trying to follow some of those hard lines so when you're applying your alcohol inks and it starts to dry, you're gonna see some hard lines and that's what I wanted. Now, you can, if you don't want those hard lines, you can just keep you know, softening them with the 91% alcohol. But I like the harder lines. It gives it more texture. It gives it, it, to me, it makes it more interesting. So that's what I'm using as a guide to kind of put my tacket on for where I'm gonna wanna apply my gold foil flakes. And I just go around the cup and just, you know, look for those hard lines, but not necessarily hide the hard lines, like kind of going, some of them might go over them and some of them might go next to. So again, this is a matter of personal preference. It's completely up to you where you want to put your gold foil lines and which direction you want. This is just how I did it. So now that that's been drying for about 10 minutes, I'm going to come in with my flakes and I just pour them out. And then just clump them up and just start dabbing them on and you're gonna see when you look at your cup from an angle you're gonna see where your glue is it's kind of hard because the glue aliens tack it over and over if you're not familiar with it is a repositional glue which means it dries tacky so you put it on it's white you when it dries it is clear and it is sticky and that's what you want so you couldn't use mod podge on this because mod podge you know it uh mod podge is wet and that's what you need uh you need it to be wet to be you know tacky and it'll basically seal in whatever you're using so it doesn't work so you can use a glue stick for this as well uh i don't know of any other things that you could use to apply this it's usually what i've seen and what i've done is any glue stick that you can find whether it be Elmer's or the Dollar Tree brand or your Aliens Tacket over and over or if there's another repositional glue that dries sticky that you're aware of that I don't know of, any of those things are going to work. And so after I'm done putting my foils on, it's the foil is messy. So beware when you're dealing with this stuff, it is super fine and it's really, really messy. So once I get it on in clumps, then I'm going to rub it off with my finger and I'm gonna get the excess off and I'm gonna get it, you know, a feel for what it looks like. Make sure you get the handle too, or you don't have to. I just decided that I wanted to put some on the handle. You know, again, this is personal preference of what you think that you like. So uh, after I get done rubbing it, uh, rubbing it on, I use my fingernail and I kind of scrape it a little bit and decide, no, nah, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna take a, a bristle brush one that's got a harder bristles and I'm gonna just wipe over that making sure that any excess comes off and I to see if it'll scratch it up a little bit I do want to scratch this foil up I don't want it to be too solid again that's personal preference so once I'm done doing that I'm gonna take another soft bristle brush and I'm just gonna basically wipe the entire cup down with it making sure all the extra gold flakes are off so that's really it so then i'm just i'm gonna let it dry for a few hours because like i said i didn't let the alcohol ink dry long enough so while that's drying i'm gonna come in and work on my second cup and so this is where i told you uh so the alcohol ink got away from me and that's because i watered this down it wasn't full strength like the others and i watered diluted it i keep saying water diluted it with 91 percent alcohol which made it a lot more runny and i did not dab my brush so guess what it ran and it ran around the entire cup so you can fix that you could wipe it down with the 91 percent alcohol and pretty much take it all off before it dries completely it may leave a pink hue but it would be easy to go over or you can just work it like i did so 
uh, the, the, so I'm showing you this cup because uh, what I did was I basically did kind of a diluted version of the first cup. So the first cup, I wanted to be bright and vibrant. In this cup, I didn't want to be as bright. So I watered the alcohol inks down a lot. It really didn't add a whole lot to it. And I'm using the, sec the same technique with the two brushes and just pouncing the alcohol inks on. This cup is a, and I want to say it's a, I can't remember what ounce it is, guys. I'm so sorry. I purchased this off of Amazon last year. So I had a huge cup order. I think it was like 30 cups or something. And I was a couple cups shy. And where I was ordering the, the original ones from, which I think was Maker Flow, were out of them. So I ordered these to replace them and this came in like a four or a six pack and i had a couple of extras because i only needed like two or three so this has been lying around in my basement for a long time and they come pre-coated white with this silver up at the top so i'm not going to paint that you know up at the top i'm just going to leave it the silver and then just you know i've as you can see i'm going over the white so again this is another prepped cup where i didn't need to sand it or spray paint it it was already prepared so um but normally you would if you had plain stainless steel for either one of these cups you would be sanding and wiping with 91 percent alcohol and then spraying with um normally a matte white or you know whatever you have on hand you could also be you know uh doing acrylic paint too i don't really like to do acrylic paint as much i only do that when i'm either out of paint or it's really nasty outside and i can't go outside and spray paint because i prefer the coverage of the spray paint but again that's you know personal choice and so that's a cup of 91 percent alcohol where i go in and i clean my brush and uh dilute also with it i uh keep it nice and wet and then uh put it into the alcohol ink so again this is pouncing i do uh try to use a cotton ball to kind of take some of the excess off and that's not really a good idea so don't do that because the cotton ball has fibers and although you think once it gets wet that it would be you know easy to come off it's not so don't use that use a paper towel if you want to blot some of the excess off and try to blend it that way so uh that is really it as far as technique goes i don't think that there's anything else to narrate on this i'm just making sure try not to overlap on that silver too much you know i will go in and work on my handle as well at some point and uh i'm just gonna put some music on uh for you to watch this process again it's a little bit longer but i don't want to cut this out i want you to see exactly how i achieved the look i did even if it takes a little bit longer
All right, so I'm done applying the alcohol inks around the cup. It's still too dark for me. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a paper towel and I put some 91% alcohol on there. And I'm basically taking a lot of this alcohol ink off because again, I want it to be just a little bit lighter. So, you know, don't worry about diluting it too much because you can come in with your color and just, you know, put more color back in. So again, when you're working with alcohol inks, these, you know, kind of cancel each other out so you can make them as light or as dark as you want. It's just a matter of playing around with it. So I'm just going to continue to play with this to get my hard lines in there again, because I do like the hard lines that you get, like when you put it on and, and also something you can't see that I'm doing and you can't hear that I'm doing is I'm blowing on this as I'm uh, after I get these applied so I blow it and it dries it much quicker so that I can get you know a quicker idea of the effect of it because when it goes on it looks one way but when it dries it dries completely different and that's when uh, you can achieve that sort of watercolor effect and it's just all in the way it dries so i'm just going to keep doing this for a little while and uh until i am satisfied with it All right, thanks for hanging in. So I know this is a long process, but be patient. It's so worth it. So now I'm just going to come in with 91% alcohol and I'm just going to clean the little overspill on the silver. You can't really see it. It's not too crazy, which is pretty good. And I'm just going to clean that up or clean up what I see. And then once I am happy with that, then I am going to go in with my gold leaf pen. So just, I'm going to let this dry for like 10 or 15 minutes. This isn't, I don't really need to let it dry like I should have let it dry with the alien socket over and over because this pen's just going to go over. So this pen is brand new, which means you have to shake it up really good before you use it. I did not. I made the mistake of not shaking it up well enough. And then so when the gold came out, it was diluted. So, and I wanted more of a solid color. So I had to shake it up some more and then press on the tip to get the the more less concentrated, more concentrated. I don't know. The more gold color. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure that the gold color was, you know, stronger. And so I finally got to that. So now I'm going to go back over my lines and just finish, you know, again tracing these like I did with the other cup, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of following these hard lines, not necessarily on top, but like next to them because I like the hard lines. So I don't want to necessarily cover them up. So I'm doing this to try to achieve a different look. And, you know, as of this recording, I'm not 100% sure that I like just the gold leaf pen on here. And I have put a coat of epoxy on this cup. And I think that I might go ahead and do the gold foil over top of the epoxy and just kind of follow these lines. I'm thinking that's where I'm going to go with this because I, I wanted to show you guys both ways. And so you can, you can, you know, if you like this, you can leave it. I'm thinking I don't, I'm not in love with it. So we'll see. We'll see. So here I am putting on 15 mLs of epoxy on each cup. I did put in some ultra fine shimmer and i'm using a fast set epoxy so i will be back in two hours to apply my decal actually four hours actually overnight because these cups are going to be turning overnight so i will see you shortly 
Oh, real quick, I forgot to mention that I did tape up the silver part on the top of that cup, and then as soon as I was done epoxying it, I removed it right away. All right, so these cups have been, uh, they've been curing overnight, and so now I'm going to come in and give it a quick sand. There is some bumpy spots from the foil, so the foil, I didn't get it to lay flat enough. It got like kind of clumpy in some spots, and so I'm I'm sanding it down with a 180 grip. I don't, I don't want to go in with some something too harsh because I do only have one layer of epoxy on so I just want to give it a light sand but I do get frustrated with a couple of high spots and so when I have a couple of like really super bumpy spots I come in with this tool after I'm done sanding I wait with 91% alcohol and it's ready for my decal which I did not hit the record button and so I'm not all that upset that's not what I'm focusing on and then once I'm done with my decal I'm going to put it back on for my final layers of epoxy these took two layers to finish this cup up of 15 mls of each and once I was done applying my epoxy I torched for bubbles and then that is it guys there is nothing more to narrate on this don't forget to take your tape off as soon as you're done with the epoxying. Right, guys, these cups are done. I am so happy with how these turned out. They are, you know, using the same colors. I definitely got different effects on these cups. So, you know, I, early on I said, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the lines or go over with the gold foil flakes. And I decided just to keep the lines. Once I got it under epoxy, I really liked it, so I kept it. But I still like the gold foil on this as well, and the ultra fine shimmer in the epoxy is just—it's amazing. Like it just—it just makes things so much better. I don't know. That's just you know my opinion, but overall, I'm really really happy with these. And next week, check this out. I decided to take the extra alcohol ink that was in my little doohickey thing, this thing, this thing right here, and dilute, uh, dilute it, dilute it, water down, dilute, oh my God, tongue tied, dilute it down and put it on a canvas. So next week, watch out because I'm going to show you how that came out. I'm so excited. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. Check out my Facebook group. It's a crafting for things that I post that I don't do tutorials on, as well as my Instagram. Make sure to join up with GMI's or Glitter Makes It Superstars group. We have lots and lots of beautiful creators in there and uh, fun giveaways every Sunday. So that is it guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.